Hey, this is D over at the Library of Alexandria, and welcome to our first subject, Pomology, the Multidisciplinary Study of War. Now, our first lesson is all about the first recorded large-scale organized battle. It's between two city-states, Uma and Lagash, and they're duking it out over Grisu, which is a very fertile far farmland kind of area. And, of course, for growing city-states, it's quite required to keep on moving. Now it is only depicted on the Stelia of Vultures, where here you can see Lagash deploying a phalanx type of formation, which if you don't know what that is, we'll be getting to very soon. Here's a reconstructed drawing by Elizabeth Simpson of the whole Steli. Of course, bits and pieces may be missing. That's just due to wear and tear over time, but this is pretty much the whole thing. Now, interesting side note, as I said, you can see Lagash right here. In phalanx type formation, and their leader, Ianetum, standing in front of them. Down here, you can see Uma and their leader, Enical, in chariot. Ianetum decided to get out of his chariot and fight on foot with his troops, a very bold and brave move. As I said, we discussed the phalanx formation. Real quick, we'll be discussing it in another video in much more depth. But it's a very, it was a very popular Macedonian tactic for fighting your enemies. It's pretty simple. Your men form up into a column, a square column, and using their shields and spears form a giant armored porcupine, which they then use to crush their enemies. Now, not much is known about the dis dispute between Uma and Lagash, but this is what is known. It happened circa 2450 BCE. It was a course between Uma and Lagash, the leaders being Enical and Ianetum. And Ianetum was the first caster of the stone who decided that he'd go to war believing their patron, Lagash's patron god, Nigrisu, would support them. The patron god of Uma was Shara, and as I earlier said, Lagash used a phalanx type formation. It is unknown what kind of battle tactics Uma used. Lagash ended up being victorious in this land dispute, even though Ianetum took an arrow in the eye, though he did live and saw the victory and came back victorious and lived a good life. Thank you so much for joining in. I'll have his video posted again very soon.